How to Force Jenkins to Reload Configuration. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.3. Let's assume for a moment that I want to make changes directly to my job configurations on the file system under my Jenkins controller. That's not really recommended, but if you needed to do it, you need to be able to reload those changes so that the controller can see those changes. There are two different ways that we can reload the configuration, one's through the UI and one's through the CLI. Let's take a look at the UI first. In our case, we have a test job one that we're gonna be modifying. I'll click on configure, and what we'll see here is that it is a pipeline job, and the changes that we're gonna be making is changing Hello World to Hello World 2. Now, if we go over into our controller, inside of our Jenkins home directory, I'm inside jobs and test job one. The file that we're gonna be modifying is config.xml. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the definition of our job. Let's go ahead and go to the end and look for world and insert in our two. So we're gonna say hello world two. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's go back over to the UI. Again, confirming that no changes have been made yet visually here, we just still see hello world. So to reload the configuration from the UI, dashboard, manage Jenkins, scroll to the bottom, reload configuration from disk. We get a modal asking us, do we really wanna do this? We'll say yes. We'll get the please wait while it's getting ready to start. And then once this finishes loading, then we can go back into test job one, click on configure, and now we see our hello world two. Now we did this through the UI, but we can also do this through the CLI. Now, if you've never used the Jenkins CLI before, there is a link to a video down in the description about how to use the Jenkins CLI. I'm assuming you've done the setup work in that video before heading on with the rest of this video. So let's go back into dashboard, manage Jenkins. Let's go down to Jenkins CLI and let's scroll down and look for the command reload configuration. And again, much like what we saw in the UI, we're gonna be discarding all the loaded data in memory and reload everything from disk. So now in our case, we're gonna change the two to a three. So let's go ahead and go back into our shell Let's edit our config XML one more time. We'll look for world. Let's change our two to a three. And let's go ahead and save this file. Now in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the command reload configuration. So in another shell that I have, I'm gonna say Java dash jar, Jenkins CLI jar, reload configuration. And let's hit enter. Now that the command completed, let's go ahead and go back over into our controller. We'll click on test job one, click on configure, and when we take a look at the definition of the job now, we now see Hello World 3. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.